Hope you enjoy this video. Hey, Dan here, Shirt BT. We were just uh, plopping in here in the Wisconsin River at a boat landing. We had quite a bit of activity up on the shore. Kind of finally got everything cleared out, and uh, here we start the adventure. Yeah, I thought I'd share here a quick little TikTok video I had, almost a million views at this point. So this little adventure lasted, I think, about three and a half hours. We went about four or five miles down the Wisconsin River. Lots of activity, beautiful day. Weather was probably 80, 85 degrees, not too much wind. Lots of people, just a great overall experience. Just floating on the Wisconsin River. That was my sister, uh, Ann, or as I call her, Tootsie. I uh, went with her along with their friend, uh, Sandy. They were in kayaks, oh, close, and I was in the Sherp along with Don. As I've commented many times in the past, uh, this is one of my favorite things that I like to do is just so I'm barely hitting the bottom, um, just touching it a little bit, and I start to get this wave action right in front of the shirt. I think this thing is really, really cool. Doing a quick little cruise out on the Wisconsin River. So we can use our foot controls if we have to. And we got the kayakers still following. So if you kind of seen, I have started to remove some of the wrap from the shirt. Right? In fact, right now it's completely gone, but I did take that wrap off of the top of it. Again, I had to have that wrap put on when we're giving them away the whole Yeezy shoe thing. Um, it's kind of made its useful life. I think it looks a heck of a lot better when it is the original color without the wrap on it, that orange. I really like that. Um, I actually did that, I believe, this evening. It actually came off very easy too. Just put it out in the hot sun and it ripped right off. Stop, stop, stop. Please stop over here, you think? I don't know where they're at.
I guess I should know this 100%, but I'm not 100% sure. I believe that is the Highway 23 Bridge. There are lots of people out there hanging out and just having a good old time. Uh, the beach was, I wouldn't say packed, but there was a lot of people. It was an absolutely wonderful day. It's amazing how everybody sees this thing and just stops what they're doing and what in the world is that thing? Lots of smiles, lots of waves. Great experience, great experience. So oh, here's a quick little shot from my sister's kayak going through, just getting a quick little picture of the Sherp. As you're seeing right here, and I've talked about before, kind of like the maximum gear that you're really going to go in in the water is third gear. If you go wide open in third, you're starting to kind of cavitate a little bit and you're not getting any benefit from the speed. Uh, so I decided here to speed it up. I believe this is four times the normal speed. Water is not too deep. You can kind of see the sand uh, bottom right there, but we're just, just hanging out and just taking it easy and having a great old time. One thing here that's coming up that I'm trying to demonstrate is, is when we're going down the river, and again, it was low, but it was moving pretty good. I mean, it's probably going two, three miles an hour, and the Sharp again only goes three miles an hour. So the challenge is, is when you try to go cross current or go up current, you know, you're battling that and it's not that easy. So, so you can see the water has got deeper. You can no longer see the sand. Uh, we are more in the channel right now. Again, the river is not that high, so it's not that fast, but, but it is something to get used to. So we just go back here and hang out in this little cubby for a little bit and take a quick little breather and uh, well, as you're about to see here too I played a little bit with the kayakers didn't try to necessarily knock them over but I did get a little bit of wave action as you're about to see starting to generate a little bit of wake like I was talking about before just hit a deep spot flopped back down again gave it a little bit of gas starting to come up you can see that little spot there that little sandbar that's where we kind of hung out and just took a quick little breather um, and then they hung out before I did and uh, as you're going to see as I just described before I gave them a little bit of wave action to do the wave action in a little bit sped up video. I believe again here I was going about uh, four miles an hour, excuse me, four times what the normal speed is. Go here, get the heck out of the way, Tootsie. Oh, I want to get you. Oh, we got her a little bit. And uh, now we got to go back up here and we got to hit Sandy too. And, you know, just keep them a little bit busy. Out of the way, Sandy! There we go. There you can see, this is, uh, 
I've heard some people call it loon shit, forgive my language, uh, but it's like a mucky type stuff that sometimes forms in rivers, many times if a river is flowing into a lake or it's flowing into some place where it is very slow moving, that stuff builds up. The challenge with that type of material is it gets stuck on the tires and it's very, very hard uh, to try to get grip, for lack of a better term, because the paddles are all filled in the tires. Here's another quick stop we made. Uh, just stopped at another sandbar and just took a breather, hung out there and just had a little bit of fun. Turned on a little bit of music and uh, chit-chatted a little while. Next adventure was is trying to go and see what many people are looking for in the Wisconsin River and that's bald eagles. And we saw a lot. I believe we saw five, six different ones. Uh, one of them was just absolutely gorgeous. Very huge, very, very white head, 100% mature. Uh, it was pretty cool to see as you were going to be seen in just a little bit. They were flying around all over the place. We did not see any of them dive down and catch a fish, which would have been really cool. Uh, but we did get uh, some good shots of them inside of trees. Unfortunately, they didn't all turn out, but some did, as you are about to see. Although you can't see in the picture, they are starting to see the eagles. We're going to get to them. Just, just hold on a second. We will get there. We're stopping and uh, admiring them. Uh, one of the challenges with the Sherpas is, is uh, it does have that window that pops up. And sometimes that window gets in the way when you're trying to see up there. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of uh, a pain sometimes. Let's see if we can see that little eagle right now. Watch out there, don't see, there we go, it's all fine. Um, it's kind of like right to the right there. Um, it's difficult to see. So you don't get bored here. I think I'm just going to skip some of this situation and show you a good picture of that eagle. Bald eagle right up there. Not a great picture, it gets better, but look closely, you're going to see that eagle fly away. It's right above there, Sandy. There it is, see him? Just kind of in the middle of those trees, and it was interesting, so what he would do is, is he would go down and then fly and then plop on another tree, and uh, we moved down, and then he would fly down and go to another tree. Uh, all at the same time, which you can't see here, there was other eagles that were flying around in the same area. It, it was it was really a neat experience. Uh, very nice. I love all the driftwood and so forth. Uh, you know, builds up on the shoreline, and again, for this water, it really starts to get a lot of it to plop out. One of the nice benefits with a shirt versus a boat is if I am driving along here and there would happen to be a submerged obstacle, uh, it's very simple for me to drive over it. Oh, there's that eagle again. Um, not so easy with a boat when the motor kicks up. But you can see him flying there in front of us. And then he plops down into this tree and uh, eventually we do get some uh, really nice pictures of him. And again, we're, we're in the channel. You can, you can notice you can't see uh, the sand on the bottom. 
other thing that's kind of cool with the rivers too is 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 there will be you know areas where the river is actually flowing downstream and then because of whatever an obstacle and stuff that'll kind of curve around which kind of throws another uh, wrench in the whole system when you're trying to drive the shirt. Pretty cool little video here. So you notice there right below that, that is where the eagle's nest is at. It's a fairly decent sized one. Not the biggest one I've seen, but it is definitely a decent size. But the eagle started getting sick of us and it decided that, you know what, I, I just had just about enough of this whole thing. I think it's time for me to move on. Goodbye, have a great day. Uh, we'll see you soon. So bye-bye, eagle. Good fishing. So we're getting close to the end of the video here. As you can see, I just sped this up a little bit, so hopefully it isn't quite so boring walking through that. But like many times with the Sherp, you know what, people will see you and they wave you over and, hey, I want to see what's going on. What the hell is that thing? What does it do? How deep a water can it go in? Does it float? Uh, what happens if it sinks? All the weird questions that people ask about it. I don't mind talking about that at all. That, that's just fine. Uh, but we happened to see some people up here. Oh, they were camping out on a sandbar. And uh, what they did is they, they kind of waved us over and they wanted to get us. Here's a good spot of that current too. This is cool, right, and going down that little channel. I enjoy that. But as you can see right there, they had this huge sandbar. Uh, a couple of couples that were hanging out there and uh, partying, just having a good old time. Uh, they started... Uh, trying to attract our, our attention. They were just sitting out in the river, just enjoying themselves, and they started uh, trying to call us over there, so we obliged, and uh, drove over there and uh, met some new friends. They were kind, considerate, uh, even gave us a beer, so tipped one beer back uh, throughout the whole thing too, let them check it all out, see what the Sherp's all about, answered all the questions that they had. Uh, used their nice restroom that they had that was all set up. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, here they are just checking it out, getting some pictures, and uh, they could share what they seen. This is pretty much the last pictures you're really going to see with that wrap on uh, with my videos. Uh, here's me plopping out there and going off the sandbar and plopping down into the water and getting our way back to where uh, we dropped off the truck. We're going to be loading things up and then going back, taking the, the kayaks back to their vehicle and uh, just go from there.
So this is pretty much wrapping the whole video up. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Love to hear your comments about how to make improvements. Uh, please subscribe, like if you like, and have a great day.